Welcome to your wonderful Wednesday close-up view shave of the day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. In this shave, I am going with the Frederick Herter & Son Ace of Spades. That is bone with inlay, 15 16 blade, and it is a full hollow. This is shave 3 of 30 on this razor and so far so good yeah for a soap tonight stubble trouble up and at them now this is just a marvelous coffee scent it's kind of to me like a mocha cappuccino even though the those flavors aren't necessarily in there but that's what it does for me anyway so i have had that blooming we're gonna pour off the bloom water Put that on as a pre-shave yeah i did just get out of the shower as well so those whiskers are nice and hydrated yeah and i had uh, more or less a cool shower because it's warm here yep now for our brush tonight we're going with the King Brush. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful brush. And that is a 24 millimeter premium bore knot in it. It is fantastic. Let's go ahead and get that loaded up. Oh yeah, that is nice. All right. So welcome to the midweek shave hump day. Weekend's right around the corner and I am looking forward to that as always yeah and uh, hopefully you are in high spirits and getting some good shaves and hopefully you're well for that matter yeah oh yeah and i'm just going to town on this soap we are going to get this brush loaded up oh yeah and how you liking the uh, 30 straight razor shave challenge at this point using one straight razor yeah let me know and you know on the last straight razor ed friday special what do you think of that right you know how to map your beard and and really shave mapping a uh, whole how to hold the razor how to grip it that kind of thing yeah hopefully you found that helpful i'll listen to this <laughs> nice that is beautiful now we're gonna get that around the edges there just like that and put it on the face and then I'm gonna go around the inside where all the good stuff is we're putting that on the brush yep so that'll all go right there on the brush for the most part Oh wow, this is fantastic. What a nice scent. It really is. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. Oh, isn't that marvelous? Oh, so good. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna get our lather on. Already got soap flying everywhere. Nice. Oh yeah, look at that. Fantastic. Now, there we go. Oh, that is so good. It is. What a nice scent this has. 
Now, this is pass one. Primarily for me, that's with the grain. Let's do this. Reaching around with my off hand, laying the razor flat, raising up a spine width to get that approximate 20 to 30 degree shaving angle. Shaving with the grain here. Blowing out my cheek to stretch as well. Let me encourage you to stretch any way you can. Nice. Yeah. Fantastic. So, got great cushion and it is slick enough to do the job. Oh, yeah. Very slick, actually. Now, get that chin. The razor is nice and flat around that chin. Rotating it to keep a, a nice flat angle. This with the grain right through here. Right in there, that is across the grain. Very nice. Yep. Now. Get that mustache area. Coming in straight, landing nice and easy, rotating that blade down to a good shaving angle. Gentle short strokes through here. There we go. Nice. Now, switching hands, we're going to get this other side. You're going to find those moles. Stretching with my off hand, laying it razor flat, raising the spine up again, a spine width to get that 20 to 30 degree angle. Remember, every time you move to a different section of your face, you need to establish that shaving angle. It will help and uh, give you a better, more comfortable shave. Very nice. Get that razor cleaned off. Stretching my skin over my jawline, making that jawline easier to do. That is across the grain right through there. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Now we'll get this part of the mustache. Coming in nice and gentle like when you land, rotating that blade down to a good shaving angle. Very gently through here. 
There you go. Pass one complete. Yep. Oh yeah. Felt good. Let's get that cleaned off. See how we did. Oh, nice. That is so good. Nice first pass. Yep. And I got soap everywhere on this brush. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. It's just like foam on a cappuccino. It is everywhere. <laughs> uh, but that's all right. It'll still work really well. Handle's a little slippery, but other than that, it's fine. And the good thing with this handle is it's got some nice grooves in it, which helps hold on to it, which is always a good thing. Ha, there we go, more soap. Coming off the brush. All right, I think we're there. This is brilliant. It is. All right. Now, this is pass two, and this is primarily going to be against the grain. Let's do this. Again, coming in nice and flat, stretching with my off hand here. Short, easy strokes right through here. This is pretty much across the grain for me. Nice. Okay, get the blade cleaned off. Right through here, this is totally against the grain for me. That razor is pretty much flat on my neck. That'll be the most comfortable way to go against the grain. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Again, coming in nice and flat, stretching with my off hand here. Short, easy strokes. Right through here, this is pretty much across the grain for me. All right. Now get that cleaned off. And we're going to switch up that handle. That razor's nearly completely vertical here. Just a very slight angle. 
going against the grain. There we go. <laughs> nice. Rotated that razor around. This is also against the grain for me in this area. Let me encourage you to watch the last Straight Razor Edge Friday special to learn how your beard grows and do a shave map. Yeah. Now, I'm going to get that and switching hands. Now we'll get this side. All right, this is against the grain for me here. Razor's got a very slight angle on it, almost vertical. Nice. Rotating that blade around for a different angle of attack. And this is against the grain for me in this section of my face. There we go. Now, let's get that mustache area. This is across the grain for me. I will have a link to the last Straight Razor Edge Friday special later in the video, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't seen it, I think it could be helpful. All right, looking good. Coming in here, that blade is just got a slight angle on it, almost flat. All right, pass two complete. Now, Let's go ahead and get that washed off. See how we did. Yep. Nice. Oh, cheeks right where we want them. Yep. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Now, here we go. Time for the half pass. Yep. That's just my jawline and my neck. And basically, I'm going to be going against the grain, and this is going to do it for me. This is going to give me a fantastic shape. And uh, I'm not going to have as much irritation as doing this any other way. Yeah. Nice, nice. Look at this. So, I get that. All right, let's do this. Grabbing my ear, stretching with my off hand. Razor's nearly flat here on my skin. Going against the grain on my jawline and my neck in this area. Let me encourage you also to try to learn how to make a good lather. That will help tremendously in having a comfortable, enjoyable shave. Hmm, there goes that soap. 
If you're new, you might think about starting out with a synthetic brush because there's less maintenance with them. You don't have to break them in and uh, you just get them wet. You don't even have to soak them before use. So as I'm shaving, I'm also sweating. So that soap is nice and hydrated. <laughs> oh my goodness. Only this time of year, right? Reaching around with my off hand, grabbing my ear to stretch. Using short, easy strokes going against the grain on my neck and jawline in this area. Reach down and grab my jaw to get a better stretch further down my neck and jawline. Nice. Oh, that is so good. Coming in nice and flat here in this section. Want to rotate that blade around that chin, trying to keep it as flat as possible. Yeah, soap is nice and slick. Ah, oh, fantastic. This is the best way I've found to do my chin, is across the grain for me. There you go, another shave in the books. Yep, and it felt good. It really did. Let's see how we did. I think it's fine. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, that's so good. It is. And looks like there were no bumps harmed in the filming of this shave video. Yep. Now we're going alum everywhere. And I just dry that off along with the rest of my face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, if you can't take alum, you can always do a cold water rinse followed by witch hazel. And for me, I'm going Thayer's and this is the rose petal. Very nice. Yep. So we're gonna go ahead and get some of that on. Mm-hmm. nice mm. and really rose petal scent absolutely and i put that everywhere i don't think you can go wrong with that now i am going with lucky tiger and this is the vanishing cream yep so we're gonna get a little bit of that on and that's gonna kick up the menthol hit on this the soap had menthol in it, which was nice. Now we're going to go with this. Oh, nice, nice. Now what I always do is just go ahead, put a little water on that as well. It's gonna help later. Nice, nice, and that's really got a nice hit to it. And now we're gonna take this up a notch. Oh yeah, yep, here we go. Osage rub, yeah, this stuff is wonderful. This is just one of the my favorites for summertime, yep. And it's nice and strong. Menthol, eucalyptus. Mmm. 
Sweet. Oh, nice. There you go. Oh, that is so good. That is amazing. I do. Straight Razor Edge Friday specials on the first and third Friday of every month. You can click on this card to see shaving maps, how to grip your straight razor, and the order of your shave. I get my ideas for the Straight Razor Edge Friday specials from you. So down in the comments, go ahead, leave me questions, comments, suggestions, maybe even ideas for upcoming Straight Razor Edge Friday specials, and we will get that going for you. Now, if you've been watching for a while and you like what you see, consider subscribing. I do Shave of the Day videos every Wednesday and Sunday, so stop on by for that. It wouldn't be the same without you. And down in the description, I have got a ton of links for straight razor shaving and honing videos and playlists especially for you. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click up here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.